building. Ship building. Okay. <laughs> it is a good, it is. It, <laughs> Jim? Yes, sir. Another example. Same question on the table. Customized homes. Custom, customized or just custom? Custom homes. Y either or. Either. Yeah, customized or custom homes. Yes, I, I understand. I was just being ornery. Um, <laughs> unfortunately, she's too far away from the mic, <laughs> which is why she's in that row, which is specifically why she's in that row. If you recall, the first day of class, she was in the front row. She likes this better. <laughs> David, you got another example? Do you have another example for us? Distinct products? I gave you at least one more. Dell computers. <laughs> yes, I did. I did say that one. Yes. She's like, you did say that one, didn't you? Grumble, grumble. Yes, I did. I didn't write it down. Okay. David, do you have it written down? Well, you go to it, sir. Homogenous products. Uh, Nick, give me an example of one of those. Oil refinery. Pamela, you, do you have this example written down now? Do you have, uh, do you have another one? No. <laughs> 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 what do you got for me? Soda. Soda. Although we've got some, th that is one I said, but we've got some ones I like better. Jackie? Uh, the Model T. Henry oh, Henry Ford's Model T, right? Any color you want, just as so long as it's black. Nathan? Bottled water. water. Like it a little bit better than soda. I mean, you know, really the only reason I talk about soda anymore is because it allows me to tell that joke. Do you remember what joke I told about one? Yeah, Pepsi. Yeah, Pepsi. It's Coke in Texas because I always ask. So you, you a Pepsi? You a, are you a Coke or soda person or or a or a, a pop or soda person? And then I can tell the joke about. That's really almost the only reason I continue to use that example so I can tell that joke. And I do every semester very consistently, and 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 I tell it in both classes very consistently. So Jackie and the, the other veterans of my principal's managerial accounting class have heard that joke now twice, and they probably laughed. Neither time. <laughs> I don't <think> <laughs> <laughs> Brandon, yes. what, what other example can <coughs> you come up with? I would go with uh, paint. Would be that is not the one you told Pamela, though. No, I, told her the br I could go with bricks, too. <laughs> I like brick better. Painted bricks. Painted br <laughs> red painted bricks. <sighs> okay. So that sounds good, right? And so which comes first? The costing system or the product that's being made in terms of where's, which direction does causality flow in, Adam? What do you mean? Do you have an arrow drawn either up or down between the, like say, distinct products and job order costing on that page? I have not an arrow drawn at all. Mm -hmm. I, I do. Shame on you. The product comes. I do, but it's not for that. <laughs> I have a, I had an arrow drawn up. Yeah. So from is actually between distinct products and job order costing between homogenous costs or, and process costing. So that and what that arrow denotes is the causality that I was just asking you about. Okay. So which comes first, the type of product determines the costing system, not vice versa. Okay. And. And, it's, and I want you to think about that the, the line between distinct products and homogenous products or between job order costing and process costing as something of a continuum because uh, there are kind of co other costing systems that include elements of both that might use job order costing for materials and process costing for labor and overhead. You know, and things like that. And so there are, you know, there are combos as well. What's on the next page? Oh, no, we're not going to turn the page. Anything except? Ah, how about that? P D O R. What's that stand for, Erica? Predetermined overhead rate. She liked that question. Shar, how do we calculate a predetermined overhead rate? Um, estimated manufacturing overhead divided by estimated 
Estimated manufacturing overhead divided by estimated activity. Tony, what other words might we encounter in a problem besides that word estimated? Uh, budgeted. Budgeted, maybe. <laughs> yes, it is. And then anything else? Forecasted. Forecasted. You know, so anything that denotes the future. Estimated, forecasted, budgeted, outlooked, expected, all of those. Any and all of those. Okay? Very good. Now, applied manufacturing overhead. Josh, how do we calculate that? Hey, where's your hand? You didn't. He, he took his handy handbook to the beach and left it there. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's his story, and he's sticking to it. PDOR times the actual activity. And where's that number go, Alex? Where do we put that number? So once, I mean, it's all fine and dandy to be able to calculate that number, but where, where do we put it um, in the T accounts? On the credit side of manufacturing. On the credit side of manufacturing overhead. So Christy, what would be the journal entry to recognize applied manufacturing overhead? Think about the arrows. Where does the arrow go? From there to cost of goods. Really? <laughs> Is that what she told you? <laughs> 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 Where does the arrow go? Where does the cost of goods later? Yes. Sorry. <laughs> but what? What? But we actually don't credit applied manufacturing overhead. We just credit manufacturing, manufacturing overhead. We credit manufacturing overhead debit work in process and that is the journal entry to recognize applied manufacturing overhead so it's you know in dr fessler kind of lingo it's just an arrow right you're just following the arrow brick road which is a lot more fun when you're in kansas than when you're in missouri and I, I didn't know you were from Kansas. No, I'm just saying. Oh, I, just, I didn't know. It's just, I'm just saying that because, you know, Kansas is really close by. We are an hour, about an hour, how far? An hour away from Kansas? Roughly an hour away from Kansas here. And so many, how many people here commute from Kansas to here? Anybody? There are, uh, there are faculty that do. Okay. Yep. So... That we just talked about a journal entry. Now let's, let's complete talking about this manufacturing overhead T account since we're there. Okay, so, so tell me, what goes on the debit side of that manufacturing overhead T account, Samantha? The actual. The actual. So Laura, we've got, a, we've got a situation. And our situation is this. Applied manufacturing overhead <coughs> is larger than actual manufacturing overhead. What could we use to describe that situation? Applied manufacturing overhead is larger than actual manufacturing overhead. It would be over applied, okay? It'd be over applied. And to make life easier for everybody, notice I asked Laura a conceptual question. Did you all notice that? Mm -hmm. I asked the question, which one was bigger? Were you paying attention, Stephanie? Applied. applied was larger. So I said, if applied's larger than actual, describe this for me. So to make Laura's life easier, could we not do that? Is that, you know, and this is, a, this is an exam technique, like a CPA, CMA exam technique. 